Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 15. Let's go ahead and spend some skill points. I've got two of them this morning. I'm going to put one into Boomstick level 3 and the other into Fortitude level 4. All right, let's get these bars upgraded to iron right here. And then I want to get these support poles upgraded to reinforced concrete. And then I have some barbed wire fences that I want to put in underneath the platform. I left bars out right here because I eventually want to extend this platform out further. And plus it makes it easier to get Molotovs down at the front of the platform. I'm not going to upgrade these bars to iron just yet. I don't think it's necessary at this point. And oh shit, I forgot my concrete. Let's go grab that real quick so we can get those support poles upgraded. All right, let's hop down here now and put in these barbed wire fences. This will just kind of slow the zombies down underneath our platform, make it easier to shoot them and stuff. And then we're going to go uh, check the vending machine across the street at the girls club to hopefully find some sugar butt candy. I don't think we've found sugar butt candy once in this series yet. Who the fuck's hoarding it all? If there's none at the girls club, we could try the, uh, the junkyard just south of here. And if there's none there, then I don't know. We'll, we're going to head over to Trader Wreck to see him first, then Trader Joel up north, and then Trader Jen. And uh, that'll probably be it. Maybe we can squeeze in some looting today. If not, it's not a big deal because I do want to get back here at a decent hour and do some work down in the mine before the horde shows up. So base is looking good. I think that's going to do just fine for the horde fight tonight. Let's uh, drop some of these supplies off here and hit the road. Nothing. All right, well, like I said, let's go check the junkyard. There's a working vending machine down there and it's right down the road. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. If not, then we'll uh, go see Wrecked. He's right here in town and then Trader Joel is just northeast of here and then Trader Jen is a little bit far out to the east, but we got all day. No need to worry about it. Oh, look, zombies respawned in here. That's fun. I ain't got time for their bullshit, though. I just want to use the vending machine, everyone. Please, leave me alone. Damn it. Where's all the sugar butt? Someone in this town is eating up all the ass and not leaving any for the rest of us. Well, here's another junkyard. We haven't looted anything out of this place. Let's, uh... Get in there real quick and at least just check the vending machine, see if it's even working. Oh, I got them both right there. Are you dead? He's dead. Hey, it works. Oh, no sugar butt, though. Motherfucker. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, I did put some skill points into better bartering. I still haven't crafted the cigar. That would help us out with bartering. Because I can't find a testosterone extract. Is there a vending machine in here? I don't... I don't think so. Let's just continue on. Um... But yeah, if we can... Get a bear killed and get some testosterone extract, we can make a cigar that will help out with bartering. Um... I just want to make the most of all for, you know, from all the shit we're selling, so... Sugar butt candy would be nice. Damn it! Level with me, Wrecked. You got any butt back there behind the counter that I can have? All right, let's get out of here. He didn't have much. I did buy this Fireman's Almanac that reduces our chance of getting lit on fire by 25%. Let's head over to Joel's now and see what he's got. Nope. Son of a bitch. Man. Eye candy. I'll take the eye candy. Did they take sugar butts out of the game? What's going on? Can't find that shit anywhere. It's like the new Crucible. What up, Joel? Let's see. Gunpowder, 9mm, bullet casings, shotgun shell, 762. All right. Let's just sell them all this stuff. Screw it. Okay, I'll buy your 9mm, your gunpowder, bullet casings... Shotgun shells, 7.62. 
Um, I guess that's about it in here. And that's about it in your stash. All right. Leaves us with a decent amount of money left over. So at least making this run to Trader Gens isn't going to be a complete waste of time. Nothing. All right. Well, at least I don't feel so bad now that I sold Joel everything. What up, Jen? Well, fuck you too, then. You don't want to talk to me. All right. Uh, buy the gunpowder. Nine millimeter. Buckshot. What else? Uh, bullet tips. Okay. Ooh, first aid schematic. Definitely. Been looking for that thing. Magnum, uh, even though we have a Magnum. Uh, craft AP 9mm ammo. Okay, that's it. I'll hold on to the rest of my money. That uh, first aid kit schematic is nice, though. I think I'm just going to head home. Let's read this, all right? Because I want to get some first aid kits crafted for tonight. I want to get some ammo crafting, and I want to do work down in the mine. On our way home, though, let's stop and mine some iron, because one thing I forgot to do for tonight... Uh, is craft robotic turret ammo because we have a level one junkie which we will be using tonight so we'll stop we'll mine some iron so we can craft some of that ammo then like i said we'll get home uh, we'll do some work down in the mine uh correct get some first aid kits crafted and get some ammo crafted All right, let's go ahead and get some uh, robotic turret ammo crafting right now. Oh, we could make AP robotic turret ammo, but we need to do that in a workbench. So we'll just get this moving and uh, grab some more iron before we go. Oh, shit. We are completely out of wood. Alright, let's go grab some so we can get that iron and clay smelting down. Uh, one thing I was thinking about, too. You can get testosterone extract from zombie bears. And every time we go to Trader Gens, we drive past a bear den. And I believe there's actually one in this town also. I've passed another one before. Uh, as well. I can't remember if it's in this town or Trader Joel's town, but there's one close by. Uh, I know where there's one for sure, and it's, like I said, on the way to Trader Jen's. So we can just go there. We know there are going to be at least two zombie bears at the bear den, so we can get those guys killed and get the testosterone extract from them. I don't think the zombie bears will count towards, because we still have that quest where we have to kill a bear. I don't think the zombie bears will count towards that quest, maybe. But if not, we can at the very least get the testosterone extract that we need to get a cigar crafted. So we'll do that in the next episode. Hey, mushrooms. We seriously need to beef up that mushroom wall. Let's get some work done down here in the mine. Started putting a floor in. This is as deep as we're going to go, and I think it's plenty deep. Now, which direction was that lead ore in? Southeast, right? Wait, hold on. No, southwest. Uh, this way. Yeah. Look at this. We're hitting lead. That's fucking sweet. And usually where there is lead, there is also iron. So that would be sweet. Oh, look at this. Nitrate powder. I'll take that. And we are not even out of the prison yet. And that ore, if you remember, it was sitting, you know, a few blocks outside of the prison. So there should be plenty of ore down here to mine. 
I'm gonna grab a bit more of it right now and open it up a little bit more right here. And then we'll go get geared up and get ready for a fight. Well, I don't really have a place to put Junkie. I could put him right here and he would kind of shoot his zombies as they're running up, but I think I'm just gonna put him right here, facing our base. And I've got Mega Crushes on me, so when I need to, I'll jump down, grab him, run around, reload him, and uh, put him back down where he is now. Fuck it. It's a dangerous tactic, but it's only day 15. How dangerous can it be, right? <laughs> I mean, we'll give it a shot, see how it works out. But for future hordes, we're going to have to figure out a place to put Junkie. Somewhere where we can get to him and reload him where we're not, you know, risking our life. Uh, so while we wait for the zombies to show up, obviously, I'm going to continue upgrading these flagstone blocks here. Well, it never fails, does it? Yeah, that's a screamer, all right. I don't know where she is. Maybe around back. Here we go. Dead. I don't think she spawned anyone in. Not that it matters. Pretty soon, a whole bunch are going to spawn in. I've got one uh, skill point. Let's go ahead and throw that into Robotics Inventor. That'll kind of beef up Junkie a little bit. Make him, uh, more effective. Let's eat something real quick. Make sure we're nice and topped off. And here we go. I think it's gonna be a pretty simple horde. With this setup, uh, it's pretty basic, but I think it's gonna work well. I mean, I know it's gonna work well. This setup has always worked well. It's just, you know, when, when demolishers start showing up, that's when we gotta be worried. But that's why I want to continue to expand on this platform. Push it possibly all the way to the front of the prison. Then I don't think uh, demolishers are going to be a problem. It's not something we're going to have to worry about. There'll be so much support on this structure that we really won't have to worry about it collapsing. Now, I did open the front of the prison, as you saw. I knocked that block out of the way. So they have two ways to get in. Both of them are in the front of the prison. The main entrance, and plus that uh, watchtower room we were initially in, that's all still open, too. But I probably should have made more entrances, because I did hear, right off the bat, uh, zombies beating on the outer wall. Look at them. Already piling up, trying to get up to me. That's because of the... Uh, the barbed wire fences. You know, they, they jump on top of them and then uh, they jump on top of each other and they can almost get to me. But that's all right. The fences are uh, are keeping them stuck in one place, making them easy to shoot. I was debating on whether to use fences or spikes. I think spikes do more damage, but they also break pretty fast. And uh, like I said, I wanted the barbed wire to, to hold them in place. It makes it easier to, to shoot down on them. Let's get junky. Bam, and be out. Look how fast we can run with these mega crushes. Nothing to worry about. Let's get junky reloaded. And I'm going to do that again. As a matter of fact, we'll hop down there, get junky back in place. Bam, get back up here. <laughs> it's not the safest method, but it works for now. They currently seem to all be focusing on these two support columns up front. And whatever. If they take these out, there's still plenty of support. And considering we're connected to the prison, I don't think they can take out this entire platform, even if they do knock out all of the support. For one, the fence is still in place and still acting as support as well. Uh, and, and I just don't see this horde 
taken down this structure. There's no way. Oh, they actually, they did knock out a block already on that front support. Now, we'll see. Okay, if, uh, this game does have a tendency of making me eat my words. No, oh, there's our first bird. Those bars are working pretty good. Really, the only protection we have is, is directly in, like, when we're standing in the middle of this platform. Um, once we venture out, obviously, we're exposed. Uh, but that's all right. We'll eventually um, spread out the uh, ceiling as well, which is going to require more support columns, which, again, is fine. The more support, the better. Come here, Junkie. Uh, I didn't eat a Mega Crush this time, but that's fine. Oh, bird. Get inside. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Not good. Get back up here. Uh, close this door. The bird is stuck under the platform. Now it's dead. All right. Little mishap right there. Not a big deal. Junkie's got to get repaired. Let's get him reloaded. We could maybe just drop him down. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Back at it. No, fucking bird. That's okay. We will get the bars extended and make sure this entire prison is protected from those assholes in the sky. Let's go get Junkie. Come on. Let's see if I can reload him, put him down. Oh, damn it, Kenny. Ruining my plan. Okay, got it. Look at that shit. Didn't even have to drink a Mega Crush for that. All right, where are all these zombies? It, it seems like I'm hearing a lot, but there are not many below this platform, which gets me a little nervous. I don't know what the outside looks like, if they're beating on the walls or whatever. I mean, I just figure as long as there are zombies below me, I just keep killing them, and they'll eventually make their way to me. I mean, yes, that might cause damage to the outer wall, but that's fine, I guess. The more entrances they create by destroying the outer wall, the, the easier it is for them to get to me. Damn, birds. I guess we're not as protected under here as I thought. Once we, like I said, get the bars extended out a bit further, we'll be better off. We got infected right there. I'm gonna eat some honey. That'll clear that up. I just want to check the back here. It's a couple. I thought I heard more. Holy shit, fuck. There is a whole bunch right there. All right, now they're coming this way. Let's uh, see if we can get them to pile up right here. Nope. Was that not a bird? Oh, yeah, it was. Sneaky fuck. Oh, shit, look what they're doing over here. Oh, my God, they're getting up over there. They're creating their own way. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got to go deal with that. Fuck off, Kenny. Oh, the cops. Kenny brought the police with him. That's not like Kenny. Usually, he's running from the police. We got to fix this shit. Um, I think I've got rebar frames. Let's see. If not, I got flagstone blocks. Ah, oh, shit. No rebar frames. Where are my flagstone blocks? Oh, let's, uh... I got, I got cobblestone on me, right? Yeah. Let's just craft some. I ain't got time for this shit. Okay, let's go. Oh, the flagstone... <laughs> the flagstone blocks were poles. That's why I didn't see them. All right. Can we fill this in now? It's going to be a pain in the ass with all these dead bodies. What if I put a block on top? To just prevent them from getting up to where I am. It seems like they're just using this as an entranceway right now. Oh, no, she's up. Uh, I can't put a block on top because of the, um, because of the iron bars here, the railing. 
Let's just go inside and see if uh, they can still get up there. Because if they're just using that as an entranceway into the base, it's not a big deal. Oh, shit. Almost set myself on fire there. Good thing we read that book. I bet you that fireman's book is what kept me from going on fire right there. Alright, I'm going to try the same thing. Get them reloaded and put back down, and then we'll get up here. Okay. Bring them down. Shit. That didn't work. Reload it. Come on. Put them back down. Alright. Hope I didn't put them too far away from the platform. Let's go find out. Oh, shit. This isn't good. No, 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 zombies. You got to get the fuck out of here. Let's move. If we move, they'll follow. Alright, Junkie's going off, so he is within range. That's good. Come on out of there. Now well, the horde is just about over. It seems pretty thinned out, and I mean, it's going to be morning at any second now anyway. And once it is, we can hop down there and finish the rest with uh, the club. It's crazy not using melee during the Horde. Recently, that's what I usually always do, is find a way to at least uh, use melee for uh, a little bit, you know? So I don't use so much ammo. We got a runner. Let's get uh, Junkie put down. All right, looking good. Ah, she caught up with me. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's uh, all it means is that we're going to have to grind for ammo a bit more. You know? And I'm okay with that. All right. I think that's it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to grab Junkie just in case some shit goes down. We lost a couple of support blocks right here, but that's it. No big deal. Uh, I want to... Probably knock those bars out and, and seal up the prison so they can't get back in the way they did this evening. Let's go ahead and eat this eye candy. Grab these loot bags and uh, that's going to be it. Like I said, just a little bit of repair work to do. Nothing major. For the opening they created on the wall, I'm going to repair the, the walkway. Right? Because they broke the blocks all the way up to the walkway. They were able to get up to my level. So I'm going to repair the blocks up there, but I'm going to leave the opening in the wall the way it is. So they have another way to get inside the prison. I don't mind that. All right, other than having to use a bunch of ammo, I think that went pretty well. A little bit of damages, but like I said, nothing we can't repair very easily. We definitely need to extend the roof, or the bars on the roof, so uh, the, the vultures can't get to us. Look at this, they broke in back here. We're going to have to do something about that. Uh, maybe fill in these jail cells so they're like two or three blocks thick. That will probably uh, deter them from wanting to break in from the backside. But that's how, uh, you know, horde bases become great. Is you, you run them a few times and you start to learn the weaknesses and then you make changes so uh, they perform better the next time. And then as the hordes get bigger and more crazy, hopefully so does our base. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me get this loot uh, organized and put away, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 16. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stay tuned for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.